You're exactly right, Jens. It just turned out, actually, that it worked in terms of a word. But the architecture of the chapters was very deliberate in the way that they were put together in the sequence they were. That'll come to light in, as we talk about downtime. But the, you're right. There's two ways of looking at this current circumstance. There's the, we're very clear on what we've got to do. And all of us are lined up against that. We know we can cope. We're working together. We're growing together. We're connected together. And we're going to work to find some new ways to overcome these new circumstances. That's the high-performing culture version, right? Or you get what we also see in organizations at the moment, which is, oh my God, there's a new thing. It's really scary. We're not really clear on how we're going to do anything. So we're going to be very reactive. It's terrifying. We're all going to lose our jobs. The company's going to go out of business. We're going to go bust. We're going to have to lay people off. We've got to have to cut costs. I wish those people would just work harder and do stuff, but they're so unskilled. The most important thing we can do is get back to basics and just knuckle down and do what we know works. And you see that, and these are two, like, obviously polar opposite examples and everybody sits somewhere on that spectrum. But we see this in reality in organizations day 100%. in, day out, that everybody sits somewhere on that scale. And I've described, say, two extremes, but they're not unreasonable extremes that don't exist. They're, they are realities. And I've worked in organizations supporting the leadership teams that are doing both of those things. And it's fascinating as a consultant, a business advisor, to have the luxury of that visibility and that perspective, and then being able to share that back with organizations and say, hey, this is what I'm seeing, and maybe we can do something to help you.